Hello and welcome to Sin Toys Corner and today we are reviewing from Star Wars the Black Series and I guess the sort of like legend series that they've been bringing out lately. Uh, we've had Commander Krill and this is Scar Trooper Mike. Looking pretty cool here. I've actually picked this up from Celebration from Indiman Toys. It's a little bit higher priced as these are those kind of premium figures that are out there. So it was about £28 but uh, I really like Sergeant Krill. He kind of really surprised me so... I thought I have to pick these guys up. And they're kind of a bit like the Bad Batch, really. I think these guys are known as Task Force 99, which is like the Bad Batch. Uh, we've got like a Wrecker type one up here. I guess this one is a bit like Tech. We have Krill, which I guess is the Hunter type. And then we've got like a Crosshair and a few other sort of troopers here. So hopefully later on down the line, we will end up getting these ones. On the side here, we've got Mike again with a, in a nice sort of like kind of retro looking style of the Black Series look here. On the back, we've got him standing again. He's saying he's six foot. He's got his jetpack and his blaster as well with a few other illustrations there from the comic. And actually around on the sides as well, we've got more of the comic kind of looks here. Uh, on the back there, got like a group shot. And then underneath as well, we have more as well. And once you open it up as well, it's actually got a little tab system. And inside there is no window display. We've got a nice picture of the actual figure itself. And this is how the Black Series figures should actually look on the box. So just having that, just in that cardboard look here, it looks 10 times better with actually seeing the full figure rather than going from their knees. It looks really, really nice. On the side here, we've actually got a bio and actually the uh, kind of another picture there of Scar boosting away or coming down kicking someone in the face so i guess without further ado let's crack this bad boy open so here he is in his blister pack well i guess his cardboard sleeve and uh, not looking much to your imagination so we pull him out of his little morgue bag or his cryo sleep and then we can have a look on the inside so the actual bag itself just reads Star Wars Black Series. It's funny that they're all different as well. Like some are in little baggies from Hasbro and then in some, like the Black Series are always rolled up in these as well. But I guess it gives it more kind of padding when it's rolled up rather than a tiny bag. Anyway, looking at the actual figure itself, he's looking really nice. I like these details here on his chest. Looks pretty cool. This bit's a little bit warped around inside there. So um, I'll put a little bit of hole on there. But I love his helmet. I really like that sort of visor that he's got going on there. So we'll go away, take some pictures, and we'll see you in a moment. been away we are taking this guy's pictures and what can i say about this guy well there is a few nitpicks out there but i think the nitpicks are more about my ocd-ness and especially being an ex-member of the uk garrison as well um stormtroopers are really uh, sort of a place in my heart so there's a few details that i find a little bit annoying but i'll bring that in after the review itself um, but having the new stormtrooper on the shelf the new mold, uh, the articulation and stuff there, and a specialized Stormtrooper as well. He's really, really cool. So first of all, he comes with one accessory, and the first accessory is an E11 blaster, and it's not looking too bad, to be honest, but however, it's done in that kind of sort of like a gunmetal plastic that we keep getting. You can see all this sort of mold mark around on there. It just looks, makes it look cheap. On the side, we actually got a little bit of paint on the side, um, but because of the actual plastic and that silver, it only notices if you actually get it in the light. So you wouldn't even know that it's actually painted uh, on there, but it is nice that they have done so. And as you can see, he holds it quite nicely and the same details as any of the other E11 blasters as well. His other back, well, his other accessory, shall I say, is his backpack, and um, done in a nice white gloss. There, we've got the gunmetal and the blue, which kind of transcends all those other accents of the actual figure itself. So, not looking too bad. However, uh, it is in there now, but trying to get it in there for the first time, it just falls out. Just easy, so easy. You probably will need to super glue it at one point. Um, it, all it is is kind of like you see these sort of circle and the plus mark it kind of you have to squeeze it over the top um, which is really hard to do so um, but yeah looking at the actual sort of backpack itself yeah white gloss and stuff um, with this sort of like mechanicism that they put in I kind of wish that they'd done it a lot better than the way that they have done um, the only way you can do it is like you've got these kind of long parts here like these pegs and these holes 
Um, so it does extend and comes in and comes out, but the way you're doing it is by pushing the pegs down into the jetpack. Trying to get hold of it and pull it back out, it just, this happens all the time. There's no kind of stopping to it. So the best thing to do is pull it right out and then push it right back in again uh, until you hear a snap. And then you've got the full extend kind of version on there. If you have it on there and you just want to pull it out without pulling it out, you're probably going to get to about this this amount. You're not going to get to this kind of extent on there, uh, which is a shame. I kind of wish that there was a kind of, even if it was thinner and it just popped out and then you could feel like a click or something like that, it would be a lot better. Paintwork on it though looks great. Got these little thrusters underneath. On the back, for some reason, they've added a lot of more extra detail and you're not even going to see that at all. So we've got these extra little thruster parts on here. And I kind of wish all this inside there was all kind of gunmetal as well to give it a little bit more kind of... Uh, metallic look on the inside uh, especially with the vents on the top they're not even painted at all so yeah for me the accessories i mean it's kind of nice that i mean it would be kind of nice to have more i wish this was utilized a lot better to be honest so for me even though he only comes with a, an e blaster which most stormtroopers come with and he comes with his jetpack it's still going to be a miss because i think they could have used it a little bit better and i'll come back to the e11 blaster after this as well so articulation wise for the guy he can turn left right he can look down he can look up as well we've got the upper neck movement lower neck movement as well and we've got a bit of swagger in there for a bit of personality full rotation around at the arm and the arms come up to this far and we've got butterfly joints in there as well we've got full rotation or the rotation around there but the rotation at the elbow as well comes up to 90 we've got rotation around as well at the wrist and it's on the peg waist left and right he can crunch forward and then back as well legs can come up this way forward back up a fire rotation there we've got a single knee shall i say and then we've got the rotation at the knee as well with a rocket and pivot at ankle so all in all yeah brand new mold of the stormtrooper exactly the same body as well so um yeah it's not looking too bad so really the rest we can go through is the sculpt of the figure but for the articulation because it's the same old mold, he will get a tick because I think it's probably one of the best figures out there for sure. Let me just try and straighten up his arms here. So what makes this guy a little bit different from the other figures is obviously his head sculpt on there. Really nice, sort of like a blue metallic on the inside. We've got the blue tube strips all around the metallic here as well, around on the helmet, looking really cool. And down on this part. On the sides, we've got these extra kind of parts around there. And then we've got his kind of communications get my words out in a minute on the side i'm not looking too bad and then the rest of the body is literally just a standard stormtrooper all the way down apart from this kind of ipad part that we have on the side we've got these extra dashes on the side and then down here as well we've got this part that's painted black which kind of gives it all the way down and um yeah that is kind of it so what would i say about the actual figure the actual aesthetic part of the figure I would say is it's good you know i would give it a pass as well but before i actually grade the figure well actually i think i might grade the figure straight away uh, for me it's a silver it's not a gold or anything like that or a platinum i think i'll just go for a silver of it because it is kind of nice to have this specialized stormtrooper on the side but i'm going to go into a little bit more kind of nick pick kind of uh sort of detail parts here on the on the stormtrooper so yeah being an ex um garrison member we really used to go into the actual figures itself so any stormtrooper that came out pre rogue one always had a holster and then since rogue one that's come out stormtroopers now never have a holster um, I don't know why. I don't know why they've gone down that route, to be honest. So the actual gun that he comes with is a Rogue One blaster. We know that because it's got the torch on the side, which they all have. And um, because of that, he doesn't come with a holster. So Commander Krill, um, he actually comes with the old mold kind of style of the E11. And um, you can see the slight differences here uh, in the actual gun as well. So you've got all these extra little bits on the top and the flashlight and stuff. So this is actually a better molded looking um, E11. It's got all the details on there. Um, obviously, just apart from there, they just don't cut it off to make an old standard E11. So this is what the old, old Stormtrooper molds used to come with. But because of that, it actually had a holster. So just looking at the side here, so he comes with a holster because he comes with that old blaster down here. We can fill it aside. So any Stormtroopers pre-trilogy, which these guys are, 
or pre-rogue one would normally come with a holster and you can actually look at the box as well on the side here it's got a holster i actually thought it might be the silhouette of the uh, the clone trooper behind him this large guy but uh it's not it's actually his, his holster there on the side and we actually can see krill's holster just at the back here as well so yeah it is slightly annoying and having these guys as an army build of task force 99 having a holster on there it probably would actually add a lot more to this guy making him look just that little bit better so yeah that is a bit of the downside to be honest with you the rest of the actual figure itself i mean we can compare it to the other stomp tube you can see it's exactly the same here just this part down here haven't got the extra paint works on here which is a shame they did go out a uh, extra mile i think and um no they didn't i actually thought they did put a new a new mold down here they didn't it was actually just a torso part but again i'm going to go back to the box uh they could have done this part here making it look a little bit different just that extra kind of part um just to bring them into line but um yeah i mean it's okay i, I know it, um, it's just a little bit of a nitpick about the holster to be honest with you um but just having them all put together it's not too bad oh the only other difference as well that i did notice that i nearly forgot is this bit on the side um, you can see it's actually painted a lot better. It's more metallic and they've used a sort of a glossier black as well uh, rather than this sort of matte look. So, um, yeah, they've gone out an extra mile and actually made it metallic uh, to make it look like a screen. I kind of wish that there was a, a little bit of um, information or something on these guys as well. So, uh, yeah, all in all, it's not a bad figure. It's just my little nitpick from being a sort of like a... Uh, not an expert on stormtrooper armor and stuff like that but it's just you know it's those kind of things that i do really really notice between these guys and um yeah i'm kind of glad that we are getting them though because they do look pretty cool so thank you so much for joining me in this one don't forget to comment down below you can subscribe ding that bell follow me on instagram and wherever you are in the uh, world you can join the channel for 99p or 99 uh, cents as well so uh, if you are in a place to do so then it very much appreciated so until next time take care and i'll see you soon bye